Got a little jazz tune for you. It's a protest song about healthcare. Now, I work in healthcare, deliver babies and for a little while, and then about 20 years ago, started working on health IT and informatics and electronic health records and health information exchange. Now today, pretty much every hospital in America has an EHR, electronic health record. Most doctor's offices too, but getting them to play nice in the sandbox and talk to each other, <laughs> yeah, that's not going so well so far. And if, and if you're a complex patient with lots of data in lots of places and you want the data to land in one place so you can sort it all out and make sense of it all, yeah, good luck with that. And I know, protest songs are supposed to sound like old folk songs. I just thought jazz worked pretty well for this one. I guess we're about to find out. Well, did you hear Big Pharma's gonna grab some good karma by giving out antidotes for opioid overdose and big box pharmacies inject your flu shot for free while payers all consolidate to make their markets multi-state. Hospitals are calculating payments for the star ratings. Clinics go concierge to show how much they really care. EHR ubiquity promises liquidity of all your healthcare information everywhere across the nation. Meanwhile, every healthcare IPO invents a niche you didn't know existed till you read their blog on post-op service dogs. <laughs> it's a thing, I swear. The CEO's epiphany on value-added synergy makes your heart swell when you hear her tell how we always put the patient first. It's the core to our vision. The patient's number one. It's a mantra. It's our mission. There's just one little thing. Remember, nothing comes for free. So we put the patient first in line right behind me. Right behind me. We put the patient first, asterisk, <laughs> right behind me. Feds try to regulate a patient-centric mandate to make your health data flow. Only way you say it goes, but big wigs of industry say, leave the data flow to me. It's dangerous to give the reins to patients in their state of pain. We have all the expertise, plus think about our kids. If you overregulate us and our profits hit the skids. Besides, you know we always put the patient first. It's the core to our vision. The patient is our focus. It's our mantra. It's our mission. There's just one little catch. Read the fine print and you'll see that we put the patient first right behind the company. And so the story goes, in spite of everything we pay, the system only grows while the patients waste away. Seems every new solution grabs another slice of profit and grows the problem piles that are taking something off it. So let's all put the patient first with no caveat or loophole. We'll make the system work first and foremost for the people. Imagine what we'll have, just how awesome it will be when we put the patient first and make it work for you and me. But if we never make a change, tell me, what you gonna do when that patient last in line turns out to be you? So come on, say these four little words with me now. Let's all put the patient first. Together we can do it again. Put the patient first. There's really nothing to it. Yeah, put the patient first. And the rest is going to flow. Just put the patient first. That's all you need to know. All you need to know. Just put the patient first. No asterisk. The American College of Medical Informatic Musicology. Hack me, me, me.